Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Tentricus, and tonight we are playing Runo. Um, it is a... I believe they said it was Swedish. It was made by a Swedish uh, developer. It, From what I hear, it's a very emotional game. Very, uh, very good game. And I'm excited to play it. As always, links are, uh, links are down in the uh, description of the video. A link to my merch store. A link to my... Uh, my discord where you can come and have conversations with me and all my friends as well as uh, links to moccasin gaming and YT demon slayers two of my really good friends who have helped me along the way and without further ado let's get started noises I dig it okay so no one has been to the family cottage since Grandma passed away. Oh, poor Grandma. After everything that has happened, perhaps coming here is a fresh start. Maybe it is. It's a clean game. I like it. Happy Midsummer. Remember to take the right at the junction. Okay, well... Ooh, I know that, Dad. I've been here before. God. I remember when we walked this road, Grandma and I. Old Cottage Road. I'm gonna severely butcher this, but, uh, Mockety? Mockety? Mockety. Many Finns have a strong emotional connection with the road that leads to their cottage, often linked to the pleasant childhood memories and summer holidays spent away from the mundane. The cottage road signals the beginning of relaxation. I remember when I last walked this dirt road. From here, I would run barefoot straight into the lake. Huh. I'm too old now. I have wanted to come here for a long time. For, for so long. Sometimes, something has kept me away. Hearing the birds and the wind and the trees makes me hopeful. Slowly, I feel my shoulders falling back still. The ache in my chest lingers. I can almost see the cottage. Okay, well. Hello, bird. Oh, jump. Whoa. Old Volkswagen. Grandpa's old beetle. Rusting away like my life. I can relate. Whoa, oh, that's pretty neato. Look at that shit. Nice. Okay, so we can't sprint. We can jump. Looks long. Looks further down when you jump like that. Like, it looks weird. All right, so I don't believe the game is scary. I think there's like a few suspenseful moments from what I could tell without reading any of the spoiler reviews, but. It's not going to be necessarily our typical horror game. Keep an eye out for Grandma's journal. We couldn't find it last fall, but no sweat if you don't find it. She had a knack for hiding stuff. Of course, I hope I find it sooner or later. When Grandma passed away, it shook something in me. I needed to be here tonight. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if I can actually... Close. Oh. oh wow, so there's actual physics in the game for stuff like this. That's pretty neat. I could sit here doing that alone. Oh, oh, oh. That's pretty neat. Still got it. Okay, what's in here? Maybe later we'll go to the sauna. Sauna. Waves hitting the pier. Wind rustling in the trees. The lake feels inviting. So let's go in. Okay. Can't do that down south. I mean, you can. We do it all the time. But uh, the whole jump into a lake, a lot of people find it scary. What with all the gators and stuff. 
I remember in school we had, I went to school with somebody. <laughs> they had never uh, been in a lake down south, and they were like, are there alligators in it? No. There aren't. No alligators in any lakes down south. Sorry, that was a stupid little bit of rambling. Just trash grandma's house. Pretty sure I needed that map. Okay. The keys are still in the usual place. Oh, right, hidden in the pile of logs. Okay, well, that's a nice little, uh, nice little bit of help there. Where's the pile of logs? Tano's bicycle. I hope he is having a good time with Dad and Serpa. I haven't seen him in ages. Why would you hide a key in a pile of logs? The better question is, where the fuck is the pile of logs? Oh, so you hide the key to your house all the way by your outhouse? Why would you do that? If anybody could explain to me the thought process behind that, I'd be greatly appreciative. Okay. Look at that. That was some freaky deaky looking stuff. Dig it. Okay. I see why y'all don't come to the cottage. Very lackluster. Ugh. There's a really good recipe for traditional beer in here. Ugh. Midsummer sati recipe. Crushed grains of sati malts, rye malts for color, a few small branches of juniper for filtering and taste, fresh yeast. Looks like they were having so much fun. One evening my dad and grandpa were enjoying cups of sati on the beach as the sun was setting. I think I was a kid back then looking curiously at their sluggish mannerisms through the porch fence. Their voices were rising with each cup and laughter became louder. They looked like they become stronger with every drink. Suddenly, they were on their feet, wrestling and wobbling towards the bushes. They looked like they were hugging and patting on one another on the cheeks and head. Grandma rushed to the porch quickly and ushered me inside. While sitting under the kitchen counter, I heard a splash and another, then silence. Grandma brought me a glass of black currant juice, stroked my hair, and said, You are safe here. Uh-oh. Let's take a nap. Sounds like Grandpa and Dad got into a fight. Well, okay. We need you down here. Darkness has taken root. And I need better dreams. What do you mean? We need you to come back. Make haste. Come back where? Follow me to Alanin, the realm of dreams beneath worlds. If this is a dream. Why do I feel restless? Dark roots are taking over. Take the sapling down before it's too late. Roots, what do you mean? Darkness is covering all grounds and reaching for the skies. It must be stopped. You have the strength of Vaki. You are more powerful than you dare to remember. I feel like I don't know myself anymore. I'm waiting for you underneath it all. You will know what to do when the time comes. I sure as hope so. I sure as hell hope so. Please come back. I'm sure we can work it out. I miss you. Don't spend midsummers alone. I'm guessing that would be a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend, either one. Photo of the first snow from many winters ago. We made a snow lantern to keep the darkness out, as Grandma put it. 
this old fashioned Finnish Schlager. Okay, well, ooh. The image on the rug. Tapestry textile. Raiji, I apologize to any Finnish people who watch this video and I'm just butchering the words. A long, tough tapestry dating as far back as the Viking times. The ornamented textile style. God, textile style is unique to Finnish tradition and later as revived folk art. Still hanging. When I was little, the image on the rug fueled my imagination in the night. No wonder, as they were the source of Grandma's bedtime stories. Of times that were as time never passed. As of time that were and times never passed as she would introduce them. It was important to, t to her to tell the same tales over and over again, which I would not really understand. The same themes about the lake, the birds, and midsummer night would always be present. As I grew older, I gradually lost interest in her stories. Isn't that sad how that happens? How we just slowly lose interest in the stories that our elders are telling us. and oh, It's just kind of sad. Bird after Grandpa shot it. Oh, look at Grandpa. Magpie, Haraka. The magpie, Pika Pika, has many beliefs in Finnish folklore. Usually it is a barrier of misfortune and bad news. However, sometimes to see the bird is a sought-after omen. Its lively and up-spirited habitus are always preferred qualities in a person. Uh, one summer, the magpies were going crazy. Every morning, you'd wake up to their crows. I could hardly get any sleep. Finally, Grandpa fetched his shotgun and took care of it. He put one of the loud mouths, as he called them, on the wall to remind us how nature needs to be tamed. We never knew why the birds were so riled up then. Come to think of it, that summer we also had some odd fish wash ashore. The buggy-eyed perch seemed okay, but their scales were shine in, to in tones of bright purple. When I mentioned this to Grandma, she hurried me away from the kitchen and continued baking something. She wouldn't let us take the rowing boat further out in the pier that summer, especially not near the big rock in the distance. Sounds like I need to go to that big rock in the distance. We are fa tasting herring and spirits. Hey, remember to heat up the sauna. Of course, I'll get the red bucket. Fill up the water bucket, okay? Where's the water bucket? Hmm. Small shed for your business. I'll read that journal entry in a minute. Okay. I remember Grandpa making it years ago. Sorry for spamming you. Just enjoy yourself. I miss my dad as a boy, even when he was around. No one was the same after the war. Grandpa did his best. Yeah, Grandpa did his best. Jesus. He said two things of wood, so let me... There's something buzzing. I ain't like it. Okay, um, I can't read that, but I'm going to assume I did everything right. Let's check this out. Sauna. The finished sauna is a small house or room for bathing and enjoying the warmth and steam emitting from the stove. A traditional sauna is heated up by wood, but nowadays town apartments use electricity 
A good temperature for the sauna is approximately 70 to 90 degrees Celsius inside the sauna. Water from a bucket or kiulu is thrown on the hot stones. The modern Finnish sauna dates back hundreds of years, and the oldest form of Finnish saunas covered earth pits date to the Bronze Age. As a center for localizing and health benefits, the sauna has many important functions as well as folk tales to share. Sometimes it was believed that small gnomes lived in the saunas or other houses. Gnomes took care of buildings and belongings, but if they were left ungratified, gnomes would do their mischief. If you hear banging from the stove, it is the sauna gnome saying hello. The old sauna makes me think about how important it has been. Grandma was born in a sauna. I guess not this one, but back in rural Finnish Karjala, where saunas were central to people's lives. As a young girl, she moved to central Finland and later met Grandpa in the same village where they lived. Maybe it was love at first sight, huh? What would I know of that? I'm always left with the short end of the stick. I should heat up the sauna soon. Some peace and quiet is what I need. It's the only place where I can hear my thoughts. Okay. I guess I wasn't supposed to do anything in there. Still better than mine. Yo, this motherfucker went to the went to bed with the door open. This was grandma's favorite chair. Okay. Don't know. Summer Cottage, Kesamoki. A summer cottage in Finland is called a Moki. Most of Finns have access to one. Mokis are often on pur purposeless, uh, purposeless equipped with modern commodities such as pump, plumbing, or electricity, and are close to forests, lakes, or the sea. Maki is a place for relaxation and spending time with family. Family-owned Makis have usually been around for many generations and are filled with precious memorabilia. Some peace and quiet finally the last few weeks on Serpa's sofa really got the best of me. I'm lucky to have a family that cares, even if they drive me mad. When the whole family was here, only a handful of us had room to sleep inside. We kids were appointed tents, spending the entire night fighting off mosquitoes. Honestly, that might have still been the best time of my life. Those carefree summers, listening to the humming night forest rattling of the tent fabric and sharing whispers and giggles with cousins. Sometimes my cousins would tell ghost stories and then everyone would lay stone cold awake inside their sleeping bags. I was going to take you here and recount the most gruesome stories to you. I know you would have liked that. My small hands could hardly reach the cottage front door handle. Pushing the creaky door open and smelling the fresh night air, I always felt like somebody was watching me on the gloomy pathway to the outhouse. If the moonlight was just right, the blueberry bushes and the ferns swaying in the night breeze would reveal a small, sparkling gaze with their roots. It would disappear as soon as you turned your head towards it. Never be afraid of the forest, Grandma said. I imagined the pine and birch trees growing a protective canopy over me, and I, the brave explorer, would dive into the silent summer night. The odd engraving on the outhouse door looked scary but felt protected. As a child, I imagined if I could not reach the outhouse from the cottage fast enough, the darkness would not catch me. I wish I could do the same now. Well then. Ah. Hold up. How about that map I threw earlier?
Okay. Creepy. Not supposed to go out that way. I'll remember where I put it. There we go. Calendar set to Johannes. Midsummer is the astronomical middle of the year, close to the summer solstice. The festivals in Finland include spending time with friends and family, burning bonfires, or building a maypole in the archipelago area. Midsummer jubilees originate from folk beliefs of commemorating the deity of weather, Uko. The feast, the fest, was to ensure fertility and good crops for the coming year. Later, Christianity placed the birth of John the Baptist on the date. Mitch Johannes, the finished word for midsummer originates. No one has been here since last fall. No wonder the place is a bit dusty. It's understandable that Dad and Aunt Serpa didn't want to come here on this day. Midsummer's Eve was special to Grandma. She decorated the front porch with young birch trees on each side. She would oversee the tidying of the cottage, delegating tasks to us grandkids. We would, of course, start goofing around as soon as she turned her back. Later in the evening, when the gro while the grown-ups were enjoying dinner, we kids would play the wooden block game and try to beat Grandpa's high score. You could sense the smell of fresh new potatoes, butter and dill, her herring and spirits coming from the cottage. To us kids, midsummer was also magical, and we would sometimes attempt casting spells. Pick seven flowers and place them under your pillow, and you'll dream of your future partner, Mom explained. Nowadays, midsummer means spending nights with loved ones. We were planning to be here tonight together, but it's better this way. Okay, well. Explore a little bit of everything here. Is it nighttime already? No. Looks like nighttime out there. Time to beat the high score. Haha. <laughs> The new stove heats the sauna up fast. I bet it's ready. Sure thing. Okay. That block game didn't last long, did it? That sounded creepy as hell. Why is it green? Beer. Throw some water on there. Keep thinking about that bird from the dream. Drink all the beer. Zonked. I used to visit my dreams as a kid all the time. I'm getting zonked. What the fuck? Visiting the college is certainly stirring up some old memories. Remember, this is a magical night. Here's a, here's a Midsummer Night spell. Run around the cottage naked seven times and you'll find love again. Might as well try, thanks. One. This is 
the first one. Oh, I must have had a few beers too many. Let's follow the. Where is that weird bird going? A little bit drunk. Should I be taking the boat? Yes. And you littered. You should most definitely be taking the boat. But I, I can kind of relate, because I can, I'm guessing this guy went through a bad breakup or something. I can relate. I feel his pain. I don't have magical bird dreams, but I can still feel his pain. I've seen this here before. You haven't seen the pulsating magic? That's different. I did not like that noise. Did not like that noise at all, yo. Oh, hey, my cell phone. My Nokia. What just happened? Where am I? I need to get to dry land. Okay. A cantle. What's this doing here? It looks broken. Okay, so I definitely went the wrong way. Okay. Right, I think I'm supposed to try to... Okay. Okay. I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Got it. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Almost had it. Oh, God. A little nerve wracking, but you know. There we go, now I can follow the bird again. What was that thing in the water? Well, let's find out. Water Demon Naki. A creature from folklore living in the water is sometimes portrayed as a beautiful woman that transforms into an ugly creature when approached. Naki is believed to snatch children and take them underwater. It is said that throwing rocks into the water and calling the creature will protect you from harm. My heart is racing. What was that thing? Its sound in my ears is making my skin crawl. Those pale, thin hands in human. This place, that, that creature with its wet, flowing hair. Why does this all seem familiar yet foreign? I mean, 
Clearly I am going insane, but this scent, these sounds, this forest. I've been here before, haven't I? The mist here feels cold, just like the mist back at the cottage on the day I saved Cousin Tano from drowning. He had been laying under the pier for a while before I pulled him out. I was shaking. I managed to call for Grandma. She came running down to the rushes and cut her bare legs in the reeds. She grabbed onto my younger cousin and threw him on the ground. I remember falling beside her as I watched her try to bring air back into his lungs. She held him tight and sang a melody I'd never heard before. He was fine the next day. All this time I had thought it was just shock that made me see blood on Grandma's dress and claw marks on Tano's arms. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, there's another one that I missed. Wooden Block Game, Polky. This game is a classic Finnish summer pastime. Players throw a stick towards wooden blocks placed in a triangle and try to hit as many blocks as one can hit just the block with the highest number or hit just the block with the highest number written on it. The player with the most points win. I used to love the game, but no one could beat Grandpa's high score. Guess he added some embellishments to his points every year, just like his fishing stories. I better try playing while I'm waiting for the sauna to heat up. Despite Grandpa being a caring man, he taught tough love. His generation went through changes we can't even imagine now. War times, societal depression, and the changing world. He and Grandma built their home and family from scratch. The, though the cottage had always been there, Grandma once mentioned that ever since Grandpa visited her family summer place for the first time, nothing managed to keep him away. Grandpa sometimes joked about his old ball and chain, though not referring to Grandma, but his attachment to the cottage. He used to walk around with a handed puko knife on his belt, a handheld puko, puko knife on his belt with a fierce face like he was ready to take on any threat coming from the lake or forest. Taming nature, he said when he when asked about the puko. I heard that during his last years, Grandpa became more and more convinced that something was seriously after him at the cottage. In the end, Dad and Aunt Serpa had to find him more suitable facilities. He lasted a few months and then he had the funeral. We had the funeral. Grandma wasn't, even, wasn't the same afterwards. I bet not. Get a string. Is this the tree from my dreams? It would seem like it. You do not belong here. I sense there is no Vaki in you. There must be a way to destroy this tree. I need to search this place for answers. The Great Oak, Isotami. The Great Oak is considered sacred in many traditions. In the Finnish epic Kavala, a tree grows so enormous that it binds together the earth and sky. A humble man finally succeeds in chopping the to chop the, down the tree, setting free the skies and thus finishing the creation of the world. In Finnish ancient folklore, the Great Oak is regarded as a connection between, or was that? between the sky and the earth and its bark is durable like iron the one who defeats the tree receives infinite luck in life love and magic that canopy overshadows everything in sight this is what the bird was talking about i need to help maybe this kentle could work against the dark tree back when grandma played the forest stood still she controlled the trees i need to learn how to play if i help out the here if I help out here, I may find my way back home, even though it feels weird even wanting to go back when you have no one waiting for you. I feel more lost than ever. What if I pluck the wrong strings and just make things worse? Let's read this one. Phew, I made it across the water without getting pulled under thanks to this instrument. A broken cantella that's missing most of its strings. The cantella seems to have more power here, whatever this place is. I wish I knew how to play it. In my hands, it's clearly out of tune and sounds a little weird. Nothing like when Grandma used to play. Wonder what it would sound like if I make it whole again. Maybe then it would be strong enough to get me out of here. Grandma could make the forest and lake silent when she played. Surely that wasn't a coincidence. I have a feeling there are more strings to be found in this place. These lies all is well here. See how I reach the skies? I will never let you leave. Alright, well...
Even your grandma could not beat me. Your broken Kentola is useless. I have nothing left to say to you. May the force swallow you whole. Alright, well, you're a bit of a dickhead, but okay. Dickhead tree. Got it. Okay, well, now we just need a bulldozer and we can, you know, do what they did to the rainforest. There we go. These flames feel familiar. Let me walk through before I continue on. Willow wisps, vervalet, verva tulip. Willow wisps are usually eerie, flickering lights on swamp surfaces. When seen from far away, they are believed to glow near hidden treasures, especially around Midsummer's Eve. Some stories talk about mistreated children and their souls as the origin of the willow wisps. Others say that it's just swamp gas. These terrifying sounds bring back a memory I have pushed aside. As a child, I had this reoccurring nightmare. And the dream is just after dark, and the flickering lights catch my eyes at the edge of the forest surrounding the cottage. Despite all the war warnings about going out alone at night, I feel a pull, a curiosity, towards the shine coming from between the marsh and rocks. The forest is drawing me in. I push through the branches, ignoring how they scrape my shoulder. As I get closer to the light source, there's a deafening cry like a child in agony. So piercing it makes me tear up. Small, tiny hands reach out from the now visible blue flames. Before I know it, the flames begin to latch onto me. I can't escape anymore. The icy, the icy burn spreads quickly, binding my, binding my limbs like a flaming vine. I'm freezing and burning at the same time. Suddenly, I hear the sounds of a cantella in the distance. A gust of wind rushes into the flames, setting me free. A loud shriek, then silence. I fall to my side on the ground, tired and in shock. I look at the starry sky above me and see a, a, bridge, a bright bird flying over the sky, uh, dark treetop. Strangely, it makes me feel so safe that I don't even want to answer the worried calls coming from the cottage. I would al always wake up on the bedroom floor right now. Recalling this dream, it feels as tangible as a memory. I can't even tell what's real anymore. And we got another one. What's that one? Oh, let's grab this one. Booyah! Our magical Cantella is getting better. And again, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. There we go. So given all the games I've played, I, the reason I waited to read the journal entry until after I got over is because I was a little worried that um, those the flames would come back. I don't know. Stupid, I know. More Cantello strings. This is my phone, still intact. Cell phone in Aladdin. All right, this really is my phone, still intact, but it has no signal in this place. I can make out a text, your concerned words. I am beginning to see everything more clearly. Something about this place is making me remember. My eyes are now open. Life takes you on winding roads. It's not your fault that I did not hear you. Huh. Okay. Seems like the guy's battling some grief. Maybe relationship-wise, or... Okay, so I gotta get them all the same color. Aha. Knew I could do it. I just knew it. Seems like he's either going through some grief relating to like a breakup or maybe losing 
a loved one. There we go. Now we're getting the hang of it. That's a pretty easy puzzle game, but uh, I'm not always the best at puzzle games, so. That's the last of the string. Somehow I feel whole again. It's the same spiral shape I have seen before. Jatuli Maze. Jatuli Tahara. The Jatuli Maze or Garden is a round stone symbol found in Finnish archipelago areas. The symbol or, or maze tradition is shared also somewhere in Scandinavia and, Europe and can be dated far back in history. Some say the European maze is for capturing demons. When I was young, Grandma once took me to see a stone garden like this. She told me that it was an old gateway, a relic from a better time. She often decorated her home back in the city with small rock gardens like these. I'll be able to leave this place soon, she would say, even more so after Grandpa passed away. Maybe she was trying to build a way out, as crazy as it sounds. The stone spiral is very similar to the bright symbols at the rock where the, my boat went over. Maybe Grandma was right in calling the garden a gateway. Should I step in? I have nothing to lose at this point. I can hear a humming in my ears. The stones might react to the cantella I'm carrying around. I have nothing left to say to you. May the forest swallow you whole. You are a very rude tree, my friend. I'll be back for you. I shall be back. I have no idea if I went the right way. Hey, the bird. I must have. Hello, birdie. Ooh, oh, am I going back to the... This doesn't look like where I was at, but I think it is. Mason of beer, maker of sati. Took bread for a bar, took beads of barley, heads of hops, blades of soft grass, poured floral nectar on top, so she placed all to boil, unfiltered golden brew on the stone to seethe. Hello, Grandma, is that you? No answer. Okay. Jar of Nectar. Can you say something about Jar of Nectar? Bring ingredients. Okay. Here's the Nectar. I need to find three more. Okay, let's see. What is this? Snowball. Was that one of the ingredients? I genuinely don't remember. Nope, it wasn't. Just a snowball. I like the way that sounds.
Okay. This place reminds me of Grandma's old tales. I could see why. I, um, yeah. Mason of beer, maker of sati, took beads of barley, heads of hop. So I need heads of hops and beads of barley still? There's something up there. Okay, that was just me. Okay. Just slowly making some progress. I'm, I'm digging the vibe of the game though, for real. Like, very like mellow and nonchalant, not fast paced or any of that. It's it's got a nice little flow to it. Everything seems to vibe just right and you know, obviously there are some issues where some people might get hung up on some stuff, but for the most part the game flows incredibly well. Alright, well that was easy enough. That can tell us doing magic. <laughs> but no, so um yeah, this game has a nice flow to it. I'm enjoying it. I, I love this I love games with stories like this. Where it's like maybe not the most interactive game, but it has a really good story behind it. The graphics are amazing. I mean I I, I dig the game. I feel more in tune with the cantel. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Played the wrong tune. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. We destroyed the tree.
Okay, there we go. Wasn't very clear that I had to go to that, but... really do dig this game. See how the darkness is finally fading? Great oak stood against your hopes and dreams. The horizon is beginning to clear. Your vaki was restored by wisdom of the past. Let it guide your choices. The story is made of your choices. Changing it is up to you when the time comes. We'll make things right. Stories make the past and the present come alive. Look for the final chapter in my journal. Grandma. That was close. I nearly drowned. Better get inside. Something has changed here. Grandma's journal. Songs of times that were and times that never pass. Music forgotten, playing again at last. You searched among blue flames and hollowed stones. Brought light in the darkness and the old poems. You chose your path wisely, followed my wings, defeated the sapling. With Vaki back home in your heart, your story shall have a fresh new start. I miss you. What if I come over to the co cottage? That was uh, a really, really good game. I think we all at one point in time have needed to uh, forgive someone so we can all kind of relate. Uh, I mean, beautifully executed game. I loved every second of it. Um, I would definitely recommend giving it a uh, playthrough if you have it. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to let this play through for a minute. Give uh, Mikel and his team every bit of the praise that they deserve. The game was uh, it was excellent. Uh, 
I'm normally a very talkative person, but with this game I really wanted to see what it was about, and I gotta say, amazing. Um, you know, this team really put together a special game, I think. You know, not very often do you look at a game and think about, uh, the underlying meaning behind it, or, you know. Most games were just here to kill things and move on, or get the ever-living dog shit scared out of us and move on, but we almost never actually put a lot of thought into the games that we're playing. But... I tell you, man, this one was thought-provoking. I know there are some people I need to forgive and move forward with, so yeah. I gotta say, it was an amazing game. I, you know, I keep saying it. Now back to, uh, to Awaken Song and Gladness in the four... Okay, I didn't get to read that, but alright. That's fine. Okay, I mean... It was a nice little game. I, I dug it. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, the whole spiel. You can find me on any of my platforms down below. There'll be a link in the uh, description of the video for Discord, merch channel, or merch store, uh, Moccasin Gaming, and... Uh, and uh, Demon Slayer. Also, if you like the music for the intro and the music for the outro, I'll have the link to the man who made it uh, down below as well. Great man. I've had the pleasure of knowing him the past, what, five years, four years. Um, met under some... Uh... <laughs> Funny how we met. Funny the fact that, you know, through everything... We're still friends and we work together. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back for more. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. You know, the whole shebang. I will see y'all later. No, 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 fuck that shit.